Hello you guys, welcome back to another week in my life. Today I'm coming at you live from San Juan, Puerto Rico. We are checking off a new destination today. Technically Puerto Rico is a United States territory, so it's not out of the country, but we did have about a two and a half hour flight from Tampa. Just made it here and checked into our hotel. We are staying at two different hotels over the next five nights. And tonight we are starting off at Condado Beach Club. Super cute, our view is absolutely phenomenal and we're really excited. This is a new destination for Sam, Jules, and myself. So we're really excited to see what we can get ourselves into. We've got some fun dinners, we're going ATVing, horseback riding. It's gonna be a really fun few days. So as always, I will have links to outfits, hotels, travel recommendations, all that jazz down below. So make sure to check it out. And in the meantime, we're gonna get ready to put some clothes on, go eat some dinner and just explore for a little bit. I know I just showed you a dress, but I ended up changing into this pink little set instead. This is from Hello Molly, super cute little linen pants, tank top, just got on straw shoes from Dolce Vita. I got this bag from Shein for like $5. And I really wanted a like clutch that was large enough to fit my vlog camera, which is so hard to come by. And I found this little sucker and I'm loving it so far. And look at, I have, oh, I gotta take tag off. It also has this little chain. And then I put on these fun little seashell earrings, also from Shein, like $1.50. I'll have them linked down below. And I'm excited. My hair doesn't look super cute, but it's about 98% humidity outside. So this is what I'm gonna be looking like for the foreseeable future, so. Jules, come show us your pants. My pants are from Urban Outfitters. We match kind of. I know, they look cute. cute. And your tank top is the iconic St. Pete <laughs> Abercrombie tank. It's the best. Love it. like literally just walked down a few steps to the ocean we just had the most beautiful sunset it didn't really get vlog footage because we were busy taking some pictures on our phone i'll leave a couple here if you're not following me on instagram now's a good time because we're giving you all the spring break pose info the water is insane here hi naked cowgirls did we're you miss back. us we're so back so back so back we're at a spot called Tavola for dinner. It's Italian and we all just got drinks. I got a sangria. That's very good. Jules got a... Taverna Dream. Wow, that's really good. What's in that? Kiwi. It's like gin, kiwi, lemon, and St. Germain. It's good? It's really good. Sam got a... Uh, I'm going to try Sam. But if it didn't have the rum, I would like it. Okay. All right, cheers, ladies. Our cheers. first night in a new spot. This cheers. has never happened for Guys, three of us. I think that this trip is going to be really good. I have a really, a really good feeling about it. All we've eaten today is some Southwest snacks. So everybody's really excited for this meal today. Cheese croquettes to start. Our manchego <laughs> balls were amazing. Now we've got calamari. My first piece was really good. I like calamari that's thickly breaded moved inside to the speakeasy side you literally access this by like walking through a coke machine we yeah, got we burrata pizza pesto gnocchi with shrimp sam got a steak dinner let's talk about dinner i thought that the first little manchego fried thing was amazing the calamari was actually very good my drink was great pesto gnocchi with the shrimp amazing Sam's steak didn't wow me, but it wasn't bad. And the pizza I thought was okay. I'm not a huge crispy, um, like I don't love super crispy crust. So that's where I'm taking off the point, but Jules does. And she loved her drink. I did, and I'm picky with cocktails. For, it's really good. For Italian food in Puerto Rico, I mean, obviously it's the first place we've eaten, <laughs> but like for Italian food here, I thought it was very good. I was impressed. Impressed. So, alright, awesome, <laughs> we're gonna shower, head to bed, and catch you tomorrow for a full beach day. It is 8.15 in the morning. We just found out we are going horseback riding and ATVing tomorrow, and we're super, super excited. It's at a spot called 
Carabelli Rainforest Park. So we're pumped. Um, today we're gonna have like a full beach day in the sun, but first I'm gonna go hit the gym, get a workout in. I am wearing free people movement on top and bottom and I just have my colorful hokas here today. I'll have all my workout outfits linked down below too for you guys um, on LTK in case you wanna shop. All right, I just did an hour on the tread and doing a little bit of abs right now. I usually do Chloe Tang's Perfect 10, but I switched it up today because I wanted something different. I like the music better in this one. It's her Get That 11 Line Abs. It's like 10 minutes and a lot of the same exercise, but kind of a different beat. All right, team, feeling good. Just got some stories up and linked a bunch of stuff to like to know it while I worked out. And the best news is that the sun has come out while I was working out. So we've got beautiful ocean view. You can see the pool from down here. I'm going to just rinse off, put on a swimsuit and head down there. This is from Kulani Akinis. My first time wearing one of their bathing suits like for an actual day. I've obviously tried this on before, but I haven't worn it yet, so I'm excited. I just put on Dr. Jart sunscreen all over my body. This is my all-time favorite sunscreen. It's SPF 50, and it feels like legit water when it comes out. And look at it. It's got like this really cool applicator. This is how it comes out. It's like the best, okay? Love it. And then on my face, I used Super Goop. This is SPF 40. I have used this every single day for, I kid you not, six months, and there's still so much product left in it, I don't understand. And then I put on a layer of the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzing Drops because my face is so much paler than the rest of me right now that hopefully uh, that evens it out. We ventured off to get Osables, and we went to this place called Pina Loca and we both got berry bowls. They're being made right now. But cute, Dave, right on the side of the road. $10. Guys, this looks bomb. This hotel is pretty big, but they only have 20 pool chairs, which is so silly that they are taken right now. So I'm embracing towel girl life today and laying on the beach. and I got pool chairs, so we moved up here. They have like the prettiest pool here. It's so windy, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's one of those like moon pools that looks out over the ocean. And I'm just reading, finally trying to finish this book. I've got just like 50 pages left. You guys it is four o'clock and I just came back upstairs to the room because I have a meeting with the Kent State Scholarship team at 4 30 and I need to take a shower and get out of this bathing suit we are dressed and ready headed down to the beach area of our resort because we are about to take some sunset pictures. Sam and I are both wearing Fortunate One and are shooting collabs today. We actually coordinate very cutely, very nicely right now. Um, and Jules is back there somewhere. With the eight bows With eight bows in her hair. Uh, well, we're getting ready. I've got these fun seashell earrings on. I'm super excited. I'm hoping that my hair can stay tame in the wind for at least a couple shots. No promises, but here we go. get too much of a sunset tonight but we still got some cute pictures so I will insert one here for you and we just decided to uber over to old San Juan yes ubers work here and they're only like eight dollars from the beach to down in the like true authentic area we are gonna come for the whole day on Friday and like get breakfast take pictures they say it's a lot like Cuba over here with a lot of colorful houses and pretty street views we don't have a dinner collab tonight and we wanted to hit an authentic spot so that's why we ubered over here tonight to check it out heard there's lots of good dancing spots too so we'll see what we can get ourselves into I'm excited <laughs> 
Our Uber dropped us right outside of this espadrille store and these are like my all-time favorite shoes. They customize them. These ones are based off cocktails. You can get them hand painted and then you can also get them like embroidered. I just told because even under a hundred that I wanted to get it. It's 90. <laughs> she just know. made the cutoff. Put it on, let's see. Jules and I have the same taste in hats usually. Okay, I'm gonna go look at a hat. Oh, so it's so cute. cute. Okay, we're at this fun, we found this fun spot. Not 100% sure the name of it. We got these cheese croquettes. Is the sauce good? Wow. It's like sweet. Really? I thought it was gonna be like tomato. -y. It looks like ketchup. It's kind of like brown sugary to me. Like cinnamon. -y. Oh my god. Isn't it so different than you expected? It's very cinnamon -y. The cheese in this is so good. That's like really good. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna like the sauce. Okay, so we had an app at the other place and then we came to the spot called La Casita which we found on TikTok. It's super cute. It's one of the most popular places to try rum here. And they also have a full rum-based menu. So all of the shrimp and steak and tacos and stuff like that are rum-based. Beautiful flowers, it's all pink. It's super, super cute. And they're known for their pina coladas that Puerto Rico is actually where they originated. So of course we got one. Cheers, ladies. Our first pina colada in the home of pina coladas. Cheers! It's not frozen. <laughs> Jules got mahi tacos, I got steak tacos, and Sam got steak and shrimp. My tacos were a 10 out of 10. They were so good. The steak was like butter. Sam, how was your shrimp fried steak rice? Um, it was really good. It was a little pricey, but I think it was worth it. It tasted very hibachi. The uh, rice was so out of good. 10. Like an eight, eight and a half. <laughs> It's 8.30 right now. So yesterday I tried to fly the drone and it was way too windy for me to send it up. You're not allowed to fly it like when wind gusts are over 15 miles an hour. And this morning I tried to take it out and I realized that we're too close to the airport. It's like unable to take off. Drones are like programmed to literally not be able to get off the ground when you're within like certain coordinates on a map. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, we are getting ready to head down to a little restaurant in our hotel, just gonna eat some breakfast, and then we're gonna get changed and head over to the rainforest for our horseback riding. This reminds me of the hotel that Madison and I stayed at in Cabo. The restaurant is like right on the water. It's the ideal dining situation, beautiful out. omelet but I got ham tomato and the potatoes are amazing I just had a bite running it back up to the room right now getting ready to change because our taxi is getting ready to pick us up just did the fastest outfit change ever I'm in the same orange cream school set I was wearing when we got here and my hoka is looking very colorful next to Sam's all black and white sneakers <laughs> Sam and Jules were having some anxiety about today's excursions. We had to coordinate a taxi to get here and it's $250 round trip to get to and from the rainforest because we're in a very remote, like jungly type of area. And so like your taxi has to wait for you all day while you're here. But this is really worth it because we ended up getting a collaboration to go horseback riding and ATV. So it was about a 45 minute ride. Like it was like a 40 minute ride over here and we just arrived and it's beautiful. It looks so much like Hawaii right now. I'm so excited. Excursions, like planning them and getting to them always gives you a little bit of anxiety because you don't really know what you're getting into. But then you arrive and it's like so beautiful. So we're excited. Yay!
been like one of the coolest experiences we've ever done. I ATV'd when I was in Morocco, um, which is a country in Africa, if you guys don't know, and it was like probably my favorite travel experience ever. And I talk about it all the time. So when we got the opportunity to ATV here, I was like so excited and it's been incredible. I can't obviously vlog too much while we're on the back because it's not safe. We have an amazing tour guide. Say hi. Hello guys. He lives here and he's going to tell us um, about this rainforest river that we're in right now. So basically right here, uh, we have the famous Mameyas River. Okay. Um, Mameyas is one of the main rivers of the National Rainforest El Junque. Um, it starts all the way up. And that's what we just saw, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, it starts all the way up and then exits down due north about two and a half miles, three miles um, next to the Windham Hotel and next to our beach house, um, the Paramali Beach House where the horses um go over there for the bar we have um rings coconut water and everything it's a super nice experience it's a beautiful river um in a beautiful day like so uh, with a sunny sky um it's super crystal clear uh so it's a great experience to have a nice step in the water how many days of rain well it depends uh, for example it, it is a rainforest uh, <laughs> so it rains every couple of 40 minutes and in different areas of the rainforest because for example here we're in the foothills, we're not in the rainforest per se. Um, but we're on the other, outskirts. It, exactly. Well, I like to call the skirt of the mountain. So right here, um, it rained actually yesterday. Today is the first sunny sun, is the first sunny day we had in like a week. Wow, wow. we lucked out we guys. They have a full restaurant and bar here and they hooked us up with these little fried cheese and guava dressing sticks and then this is shrimp passion fruit ceviche and this is the yuca suited up and getting ready to go horseback riding now i'm excited but nervous i'm afraid of horses i've only ridden one once and i was really little was a lot easier for me than the ride there. I think once my horse laid in the sand and like got some food and water, it was a little happier. Um, scary, but like now that it's over, I'm like, wow, that was so cool. I'm so happy we did it. Um, the only other excursion that we've done like as a friend group really is the cenote in Tulum. I don't think we've done anything else, right? Like, we should though. adventurous, I know, we but should. I think I love trips. Like my favorite trips are when we do at least one or two excursions on it to like really, that's always like my favorite part of a trip. Yeah. So. And what you talk about the most when you're telling yes, stories. Yes, when you tell it. a story, it's always yeah. what you reference. So definitely come here. It's been in the family for 77 years. No. Yeah. Yeah, 77 years it's and they crazy. have over 700 acres. It was beautiful. If you've ever been to Hawaii, the scenery was very similar. Um, but it was just really cool. Obviously, we could only show you so much footage because we were <laughs> riding horses and like moving, but overall, just great day. I feel sunburned and dirty, but it's a sign of a good one. So we're, sure. we're headed back home now. We've got a fun dinner at 7 p.m. So we're gonna go and not look like this. Yeah, and I'm like, look we pretty for sunset. <laughs> we are getting ready to go downstairs and take some pics, you know the drill pre-dinner and then we're actually eating dinner we didn't realize at the same restaurant that we ate breakfast at this morning but they have like a whole different menu that has like fish sandwiches um and we're doing like a collab with the hotel tonight so it will be a free we'll be able to get some drinks apps i'm excited today i'm wearing this stunning dress from the fortunate one i brought this with me to the bahamas didn't have a chance to wear it it's like a jersey fabric Everyone keeps commenting on my latest reel being like, love that two-piece set. It's not a two-piece set. It's actually like, it's attached right here. Just has a cutout and a little crisscross action. My hair is up because unfortunately, my hair can't do anything else here in Puerto Rico. Reality, it's not that, that humid. It's just so windy. It's like 25 mile an hour winds. So it's just got to be tamed. I don't have a lot of hair. So we're going to bring this champagne glass down. 
I have been wanting to get pictures by the pool all week and there have been so many people here and tonight we caught it on an empty Two years ago, me would have freaked out if she saw this array of appetizers. <laughs> Jules truly changed my food palette for the better. We just were eating at Social, which is the restaurant in our hotel. And we've got buffalo cauliflower, tuna tacos. I don't eat tuna, but I really want to try this because it looks so good. This is a peach and prosciutto arugula salad. We've all got glasses of champagne. Cheers, you guys. This was one of the best days I think we've ever had as a Naked Cowgirl trio. Oh my God. And, it, <laughs> and it was really fitting, I think, that we got to be on horses today all together. I love you. Love you. Love you. Did a big thing and I got steak. The girls got sea bass. Both of them did. It looks amazing. And I'm so excited about these Parmesan potatoes. I just was really craving red meat. It looks phenomenal. Are you strip. Uh, all right, our last course. We've really been here like eating up a storm. <laughs> We've been here all night. Joel like, gave up ice cream for Lent, but but she's eating around. So God, if you see this, yeah, God, God, if you're watching, it's okay. It's a little wet. <laughs> My steak was amazing. Our banana pudding, phenomenal. Jules and I loved it. Sam didn't eat any. She's working on not eating dessert on weekdays. Um, and well. my favorite appetizer was the cauliflower. It was just a great meal. All very good in general. All right, we are getting ready to head to bed. We're checking out of here tomorrow morning and headed to hotel number two, which I'm really excited about. Cause baby Sam and I had an early morning wake up call this morning. We just took some pictures by the pool for the property and they turned out super cute, I think. Well, I'm hoping they looked good on the camera, so hopefully when we download them, we can say the same, but it was a success. It's like 9 a.m. now, it took us about an hour and we are about to go hit the gym, get a little workout session. Today I'm wearing Free People Movement Good Karma bra and then Free People Movement Good Karma bike shorts. They're super high waisted, so when I wear these, because I have such a short torso, I have to fold them over. And then I've got all my hokas and my smiley socks. These came in like a pack of six from Amazon, $18. They're so stinking cute. I'll leave them links down below. My workout summary went away before I could show you guys, but I just did like 30 minutes. And the gym has such a good view. Sam did Sculpt Society. Venturing out to find some breakfast right now. Sam was just telling her vlog and she made a good point. Jules sleeps like about three and a half, four hours later each morning than Sam and I do. It's not that we don't like her or aren't including her. She's just a sleepy girl. So we always get to spend the morning together, which is kind of nice. But we're venturing out to find something. I think we're gonna do acai again today. Okay, the other day we went to Pina Loca and today we went to the acai place next door just to try it and see the difference at this place it's nine dollars and 58 cents and you get to pick two fruits and two toppings um so today i got strawberry banana peanut butter and granola my acai bowl although small was actually very good i think i liked yesterday's better but it was still still very good i just changed into my swimsuit of the day which is from lenny swim it's reversible super cute my little cover-up skirt is from lulu's i get so many questions on this i'll leave it linked um and we are packing up our stuff getting ready to check out of this hotel it's been literally amazing but we are going to their sister property um la concha i'm only here one night because is tomorrow I'm actually getting on the cruise but Sam and Jules have two nights there so we're excited this view has been beautiful so I'm sure the next one will be just as good if not better all right we just made it to hotel number two we can't check into our room for a few more hours so we are hanging out by the pool I am only a few days away from launching my new website so I've got my computer here and I'm just sifting through some few final things I've got a meeting with my team at one to discuss a few final things and then the rest of the day will be spent in the sun. Ordered a little steak wrap. 
And then these nachos that look so good. Checked into our room and this property is literally insane, beautiful ocean views and there's several different restaurants on site as well as multiple different pools, much, much bigger than the previous hotel even though they are owned by the same company and they left us champagne, yay! Look at here, look at here, look at here! <laughs> My camera's so foggy because it's so oh man, outside. It's horrible, I can't even talk. Logan has arrived, everybody. So we, my air forfeit. We are going on a cruise tomorrow together, um, but we don't have to port until 4.30 p.m. is our check-in time. Can we bend down with you? Sure. So we've got <laughs> about 24 hours to hang out in Puerto Rico together first, which is very exciting. Logan's gonna get out of her airport clothes. I'm gonna do something about my hair. If you guys are like, Mackenzie, why don't you wear your hair natural ever? This is what my hair looks like after I chlorine. Cheers. Hold on, I just to... Oh, there's your plus. <laughs> I was like, where's the queen? I'm finally gonna get it. Can you hear us? Cause it's literally so freaking windy outside, but we didn't have much of a sunset. We didn't have actually, we didn't have any sunset. is salmon, yellowtail, bay scallop, blue crab, teca, spicy tuna, and Jules just ordered her an Alaskan king crab. <laughs> and they just ordered whatever that is. Sashimi. Logan, do you want a piece? No, I don't like sashimi actually. What? All right, I'm listening. This is the lobster. What do you think, Sabah? I like it, I just don't like the seaweed part of it. All right, Logan just gave her experience a nine out of 10. Let's give wow. her a round of applause, everybody. That's big. Nine out of 10, what do you give it, Sam? Um, I liked it a lot. Maybe like a, I don't know, a seven or an eight. I thought that the rolls were really good. They were different. I had a fun time. It was a cool experience. I had a lot of fun. I obviously, like, that's why I I'm not going to give it a 9 out of 10, but I thought it was Rise and shine, Puerto Rico. It's our last day here. Well, Logan and I, it's my first full day. Our first full <laughs> day. Uh, my last. We are going to Old San Juan today. Originally, we were going to do that yesterday, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Right now, the girls are getting ready to go for a little walk. We might grab something for breakfast. We were like, it's the weekend. We don't need to go to the gym, but we still want to move our bodies. I am wearing glow mode tank top, Halara shorts, um, my same hokas, and then look at, I just got, I've showed you guys the smiley socks a couple of times. These are from the same pack of the Amazon socks, but these ones are peaches. I have a Halara dress. You've probably seen it on her a million bajillion times. It's Probably one of the exact same. The length is so much better on you. Why? I think it's kind of short. I just pulled it down. I turned like, it it's on me, it's so long. I feel like it looks the perfect length on you. Girls just got coffee. <laughs> Phone drinks first. And we've discovered a whole other part of San Juan. There's lots of cute restaurants and a few shops over here. They don't open for like another hour. So unfortunately we can't go in any of them, but it's really cute, a little more residential over here. Okay, team, we're back at our hotel and we just got dressed and ready. We're getting ready to head over to Old San Juan. I am wearing this dress from this boutique in New Orleans that I went to that one of my sweet followers gifted me. So cute, it's got pockets. 
and I'm wearing Dolce Vita little shoes. My hat is from Lulu's and I'm carrying this bag that I bought from a little boutique in Charleston. Um, the brand is Shiralea. So, okay. Oh, uh, this strip is really Sheen sponsored from my end. So this is a Sheen dress and then my shoes are of... Um, they're so they're, cute. They're from Dillard's. Those are so love. cute. Yeah. Um, my dress is from Fortunate One. It has a little martinis on it, if you guys can see. <laughs> and then my shoes, oops, my shoes are Franco <laughs> Sarto. Love. All right, Jules um, ended up having like a fun night out last night and is not home yet. So <laughs> it's just going to be the three of us right now, but I'm excited. So came to a place called Cayo Caribe, which so many people recommended to us. And it's like Caribbean, Puerto Rican food. We got mahi with this coconut sauce. I'm scared of it, guys. I haven't really eaten much fish that's grouper. not fried. I mean grouper, sorry, grouper. And we got rice and beans, and then Sam and I are splitting that with the, uh, what is it called? Move. Monfugo. Monfugo. And we got it with Creole shrimp. Is it good? It's interesting. I hate to say it, but I didn't really like lunch. I tried the mumfamba. I don't know how, if I'm saying it right, and I wasn't a fan. The fish was good. It was a little fishy for me. Not exactly what I was expecting, but you know, you can't win them all. I'm really proud of myself for trying something new. Two years ago, I would have never even remotely ordered what I did, so that was good. And now we're just walking around. We're gonna walk, pop in and out of some shops. Lots of colorful buildings. Take some pics, we've got a few hours just to explore. Everyone told us we needed to come to Barachina where the pina colada originated 60 years ago. So we're waiting to get one. Just got our pina colada. We are on the hunt for a picture taking spot. Look at this row of rainbow houses. Uh, every time I come places like this, I'm like, can't we just as a society agree to stop painting our houses white and brown? and doing colors. We found the cutest little window, you guys. These girls were getting a treat, a dollar for this little like frozen, I don't even know what it is. Thank you so much. So okay. cute, thank you so much. It's so sweet. It's beautiful here, we're loving it. Cheers, salute. Salute. Yay. This is right over where we ate dinner the other night and there's a cute little market. All kinds of like local vendors. Let's see what they've got. All right, we had a lovely afternoon exploring Old San Juan. Very, very beautiful. I didn't take my camera out too, too much. This camera just doesn't have great stability. I know I say that in a lot of vlogs, but I need to find a way to stabilize it more. That way I can show you guys more of my destinations. But anyways, we are back at the hotel. We are packing up our stuff. Logan and I are getting ready to say goodbye to Sam. Jules is still missing in action. So Jules, if you're watching this, see you when I see ya. <laughs> Sam, it's been lovely. It's been real fun. Mwah. Best 26th birthday trip. And you will see her for a month in St. Pete very, very soon. Love you guys. Thanks for Love watching. You. I'm going to end this and start my cruise vlog. So.